Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Sam, also known as Sam Haribo, and welcome back to the Minecraft Survivor Games on the Hive. Today I'm playing on a new map. This is... Um... What is this? This is Fall on Valico SG1, the first map made by Team Valico, which is basically Team Vareed, but um, with no Vareed. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So this is a new map on the Hive, and I'm going to show off my chest route, which has five tier twos on, and I usually get them all. And um, it also has a stone axe that you can get pretty easily, and a wooden sword is in that chest at the top, which if you're brave enough, you can go for... Because a wooden sword of spawn, 100% of the time, is legit. That's all, that's all I can say. But it's pretty hard to reach for that chest, if you ask me. I always might end up jumping off. Yeah, but, you know. So, five tier twos, two in that building, and three over there. So, yeah, my first impressions of this map, basically, were, it's good. It looks good. It feels like an actual survival games map. It feels like the PvP is good. Wow, I don't need to go for... Oh, man. Who took that? Who took that? Who took all my stuff? You all, you all suck balls. Um... <laughs> Wow, the, serv the server's been laggy recently, and I'm not sure why. That's really annoying. Yeah, but uh, this is my chest route. Wow, come here, come here, come here. He's running, isn't he? I keep getting particles. I cannot hit anyone. Slash fix. Right. Yeah, so if you run into this first room, there is a wooden a uh, stone axe on the wall, which is the equivalent of a wooden sword. So it's pretty much going for that wooden sword in the middle. And yeah, um, I usually go for the wooden sword in the middle because I like swords better because not only do they look better, but um, you can also block with them, which I block it sometimes, if you are wondering. Now, most people think block it is a newbie, but I mean, if, if you're good at it, then it's not really a newbie, is it? Um, because <laughs> you practice a lot and stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> if it's a good tactic, then that's all it is, a tactic, really. Now, one problem I found with this um, chest route, there's another tier 2 here, is I never seem to get enough armour. Um, or sticks. <laughs> Basically, armor and sticks is what I want more of. I always get loads of food. I always get, like, a wooden sword or a stone sword or something. But, um, other than that, no. I don't really seem to get much good stuff. Oh, nice. Enchantment bottle. Uh, yeah. So, just jump over to this building. Run up here. Ah! <laughs> I've done that so many times before. I just don't expect there to be a jump. So, you've got to jump over there to that. And up here is a tier 2 chest with some iron boots. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go with them, lob on the iron boots, run over to see if there is a chest over here, and there isn't, and the problem is our next tier 2 is there, but I really haven't thought of a good way of getting over there without actually leaving this building completely, and then running downstairs, and it just takes a long time, so um, for the sake of the episode, YOLO, <laughs> just jump off, and um, that's ever so slightly quicker. So. Uh, the only way I know of actually getting to this tier 2 chest on top of that tree is... Oh, nice. <laughs> I said that's so camp. Ew, nice. <laughs> wow, I'm so good at this game. Um, yeah, so the only way I know of getting to there is by running up here, uh, grabbing these chests. Well, you don't have to grab those chests if you don't want. And uh, jumping out of this window. YOLO. Uh, let's grab that. And let's jump over here. Yep, so now we are, <laughs> we've moved, gone from there to there, with all that effort, that is so annoying. But, um, let's jump up here. The only way I know of getting up here is by breaking the leaves. There probably is a much more efficient way of just doing a bit of parkour, but for now, that's what I'm going to do, and just a bit of wildlife. Oh, that was good, that was good, that was good. Um, yes, yeah, so that was a very good chest. <laughs> I was saying earlier how I wasn't getting a good, good enough armour and stuff, but uh, that was good, that was really good. So, yeah, I know of getting... Oh, I was about to say I know a way of getting down here without taking damage, but then I sort of just failed, so uh, let's just carry on with our adventure. We've got full iron, except for a helmet, which shouldn't be too hard to find, and a stone sword, so I'm safe to say I'm pretty sure we're going to do pretty well this game, unless the donors are all teaming, but yeah. So I'm going to kill these cows to get some experience, and um, hopefully get a level, because I do know where the enchantment table is on this map. It was pretty easy to find, to be honest. Just in a building, and YOLO, there it is. Not really sure why I'm saying YOLO so much now. <laughs> to be honest, it annoys me, let alone other people. So, jump up here. That's a tier 2. Wow. Um, I got my helmet and three pieces of butter. So, we've got practically full iron, which is seven and a half, but seven and a half bars of armor. So, that's good. Um, yeah. And I read all the comments on the last video, and most of them were saying play Hive. However, a couple were saying play MCSG. Because, I mean, MCSG is still a load of fun. So, I'm going to be uploading um, an equal amount of Hive and MCSG. 
Um, so every other video it'll be Hive, then MCSG, and so on and so forth. So this is a Hive video, obviously, and t the final tier 2 on this map that I know of so far is this one. Nope, already taken, but that is a tier 2, so if you manage to get up here in time, then that's a tier 2. So jump off, I do have a level, so I'm going to go enchant. Uh, when I played this map before, I did actually manage to get an enchanted diamond sword, which was so good. I could kill like people in full iron with like five hits. It's so overpowered. An enchanted diamond sword is really overpowered. So yeah, um, let's head back to the cornucopia. You might want to play this map uh, a couple of times before you actually like um, start. Um, well, no, you shouldn't expect to win this map the first time you play it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say because. Um, Wait, why did I come here? Oh, I need a stick. Hello, hello, hello. I cannot hit either of you. I cannot hit either of you. Except I didn't even try to hit the other one. So, um, they're going to keep chasing me, aren't they? That is so annoying. Um, <laughs> these guys are never going to give up. If I wasn't recording, I could... Right, let's take him. Let's take him. Let's take him. Let's eat a cake, which uh, the texture seems to be screwed up for. Let's just keep getting one hits on them. Let's keep getting one hits on them. Keep getting one hits on him. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. Right, block it, block it. How did that not hit? Oh, crap stick, crap stick, crap stick. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> I'm getting so intense. This is so intense. This is so intense. Well, oh, well, well. Let's jump over here. Eat the bugged out cake. Block it, block it. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Um, jump over here. Oh, he's lagging, he's lagging. That's bad. They're hitting each other sometimes, though. That's good. If I had an enchanted sword, this would have been pretty easy. One more hit, one more hit. There we go. Yes, guys. I just took that out. I really wasn't expecting to do that. <laughs> I'm really not sure why I always call my subscribers guys. I should really call them something like the Haribos or something. Or, well, a, a good idea was to call them, like, the Packet. Because you get a packet of Haribos. Um, if you're, like, from America or something and you don't know what Haribos are, really, then, <laughs> lol, sucks for you. But, um... Seriously, Haribos are like uh, a sweet, um, or in America you'd call it candy. Um, not a candy, but you would call it candy if, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> and yeah, um, I got 13 and 42 points for killing that team. That was decent. That was actually decent. I did really well there, seeing as I'm actually only getting like 40 FPS. So now we can craft our sword. Um, let's go. My FPS has just dropped randomly recently because I accidentally went on Minecraft and pressed reset video settings. So all my video settings in my Minecraft options have reset, which um, has affected it in some way, but I'm not sure why. And I'm, why is that cake? It's like so much icing. Ah! Wow. Yep. So, yeah, this map's good. It just it just feels like a, an MCSG map. Well, not, not MCSG. Um because that's MCSG. I mean, it feels like a survival games map now. Uh, here's the enchantment table and, ooh, knockback. Uh, it's not as good as sharpness, but it's still decent. It could still come in handy for a fight. And we can make golden carrots. Uh, golden carrots are actually useful, if you didn't know, because um, they fill you up for so long. They actually fill you up for a pretty long time. They're actually the food that fills you up for the longest. And, yeah, so... We've got knockback at least, so if we're taking our team, we can just like hit one, it'll knock them back, hit the other, it'll knock them back, and it'll, it'll work pretty effectively. So, yeah, I've actually got my render to some really low. Um, I usually play record on normal and play on far, but since I pressed reset video settings by accident, I'm having to record on like short plus 32 and um, only play on normal, and it's quite annoying. Oh, aimbot. Was that aimbot? I, I don't know. I really don't know, but... <laughs> that was really glitchy. Well, no, I'm not going to say glitchy, but it did look like they were hacking ever so slightly. Seeing as um, they did sort of hit me, even though they weren't really looking at me. And yes, you run. You better run. He had an iron axe. I, I really... Well, she had an iron axe, actually. I really don't know where that people get all these, like, iron axes and stuff from. There must be some place on the map that just hands out iron axes to you. Um, hopefully, I'll find that in the future. Let's lob on this chain hat, uh, seeing as it'll last a bit longer than the gold one. Wow, two more iron. What's it called? Llama's War Axe of Iraq. Oh, Logical Llama helped him making this map, so that must be his little axe that he added in. <laughs> logical Llama. I don't know who he is, but he sounds cool, and he's logical, so... Yeah, there we go. Um, not sure why it's Iraq, but... Wow, you're trying to swoop in and nickel... Oh no, your inventory is full, isn't it? <laughs> it's about to go deathmatch as well. Right, I'm going after that guy. He's called Mohammed. He's called Mohammed. Uh, I see him here. He, he's got particles. I mean, he's sprint hacking. Maybe it's just lag. I don't know. 
Um, let's see, what can we do? We can try take on this guy. Hopefully I'll get the final hit before he... He looks like he's about to jump in the lava. Oh, well, he's in the lava anyway. Um, let's run over here. No, not that bow, not that bow. Not that bow, not that bow, not that bow. Haha, <laughs> yes, boys. Wah! Come on, come on, come on. Gocknix the apple. You're going down. Right, yep. My attack in deathmatch. Just to keep fishing rodding them to get them to the outside. Then I'll cut them off from the inside. And yeah. There we go, guys. GG. Thank you for watching this episode of the Hive Survive Games. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.